What's up everybody, TaxBuction7 here, back with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Pokemobs mod, and what this does is it adds a Pokemon to Minecraft. So you can capture them and train them, um, you can bring them to the healing table and heal them, you can fight them, you can pretty much play Pokemon, but just within Minecraft. So you can see here, I have the Pokedex in my hand. Then I have the Pokeball, the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, the Master Ball, the Super Potion, the Potion, the Max Revive, and the Revive. So the different Pokeballs, they'll get stronger. Um, of course, the Master Ball being the strongest. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some um, Pokemon. Let's go ahead and walk this way. thought there was some over here. Where'd they go? Oh, here we go. Now, I'm not good with names at all, so... Okay, so see, that wasn't strong enough, so let's try to grape. Let's try the Ultra Ball now. So there we go. We've caught a Pidgey. And let's try to catch the Charizard. Or Charmander. Okay, so we've got a Pidgey and a Charmander. And to release the Pokemon, what you do is hold Control and say, I want the Pidgey, I'll go ahead and hit 1. And then if I go ahead and hit Control and uh, 1 again, it'll take the Pokemon back in. Let me just turn off this rain here. And then, of course, if I wanted the Charmander, I'd hit Control and then 2. And then you can go ahead and right click on them with the Pokedex to get all their stats and everything you can tell it to follow you or stay. All that sort of stuff. Then I'll go ahead and come back to the computer real quick. Let's go ahead and catch this guy too while we're at it. Okay, the Charmander was just killed by something, I have no clue. So you can see I have uh, Pidgey in here, I already had another uh, Growly, or Growthy, and then now I have the Rata. So that is essentially the Pokemobs mod. And um, here we go, actually we have the Revive, and you could do like, who needs to be revived, but I don't have any of my Pokemon activated or in my inventory right now. So yeah, that is just the basics of the Pokemon mod. So I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this mod. Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these programs work the same, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you need to download Audio Mod, Mod Loader, Mod Loader MP, Custom Mob Spawner, and the Pokemobs mod itself. So to get those five files, we'll go ahead and give the link to these three pages in the description. So first off, to download Custom Mob Spawner and the Pokemobs mod itself, we'll go ahead and come to the official Pokemobs point five, and scroll down to the download sections, and you want to go ahead and right click on the Dr. Uh, Z Hark's Custom Mob Spawner, and do open link in new tab so we can come back to this page. And this will bring us over to an ad fly, and it'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. Once that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will bring us over to a media fire, and you just go ahead and click on download to download the custom mob spawner mod. So after you do that, you want to go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see, click here to download Pokemobs 0.5, 1.1. And again, this will take us over to an ad fly. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner and a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Again, click on skip ad. And this will bring us over to a media fire and you click on download to download the Pokemobs mod. Now for audio mod mod letter, we can go ahead and come over to Rezagami's mods and scroll down until you see mod letter 1.1. You can either download from Adfly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind downloading from Adfly does help support the mod creator. 
So after you download Mod Loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see Audio Mod 1.1. And again, you can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. So now to download Mod Loader MP, if we go ahead and come over to Flans Mods and scroll down to the Mod section, go ahead and click on Mod Loader MP. This will bring us down to the downloads for Mod Loader MP. And you can either download from AdFly or Mediafire. Again, keep in mind, downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything you'll be installing. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to Start. Then type in percent app data percent. Just like this down here. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Then open your dot Minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar. Then right click it. Do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, your bin, we will be coming back to this later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So, once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Audio Mod. Highlight these three files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Audio Mod. Now, open up Mod Loader and highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up Mod Loader MP and again highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader MP. Now open up Custom Mob Spawner. And you do not want to put the README text into your Minecraft jar, but you do want to put these three class files into your Minecraft jar. So go ahead and click on the first class file, hold Shift, and click on the last file before the README text. And that should highlight those three files. Then you want to drag these into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close the custom mob spawner. Now open up the Pokemobs mod and open up everything goes into your jar. And you want to highlight all of this and put it into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight it all would be to hold control, then hit A, and that will highlight everything and drag all of that into your Minecraft jar as well. Then hit OK. And go ahead and hit the little golden arrow to go back so we can see resources. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not see this folder, that's okay. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files. Oops, I select View. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and close the Minecraft jar. We're done with that. You should have minimized your bin, so go ahead and bring that back up. Then go ahead and hit back. So we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now take the resources folder from the Pokemobs mod and simply drag it into your .minecraft folder. Then hit yes. And there you go. You are done installing the Pokemobs mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.